official name is Elizabeth Akini Rege. Um, my stage name is Sikin. I went to school here. Brookhouse was the school I went to. I went to university at USIU, where I got my BA in psychology. And um, from there, I came back because I felt like I needed to come back to Brookhouse, you know, to give back to the community that made me who I am today. So we're going to do as usual. Song, comment, song, comment. We'll start with the one last time. Are you ready? I come from a family of three. I'm the firstborn, followed by my sister, who's called Sarah, and then uh, my brother, who's called David. Both my parents um, are scientists. My dad has his own company now, and uh, my mom is late. I was raised in Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. Um, so for the first 11, 12 years of my life, I knew Ethiopia's home. But mom and dad always ensured that we'd come here so that we knew these are, this is our home, this is, this is where we hailed from. I, let you know. I think I've loved music ever since I was born. Mom always used to tell me about how they'd be playing Lingala in the house on their, on their tubum box and I'd be kicking in bed, you know, trying to get to the beat. And um, after that, she just knew. She was like, oh my goodness, you are your father's daughter in terms of just the love for music. I was a very athletic and musical person when I was in, in school. I think that really scared my parents because they were like, okay, she's focused on what she's, her extracurricular activities, but what about her books? And my books weren't suffering. I was also a very studious, um, person. When my dad actually came and saw me perform live for the first time and understood what it was, I think he was amazed because he didn't, one, he didn't, under, he didn't really know how good I was. My father was the one person who, who actually made me understand that in this life you really need to work hard for what it is that you want. Even if it's just competitions, even if you win, it's not guaranteed that you'll be successful in your music career. He's been my biggest, one of my biggest supporters um, throughout this journey and he's always like, Mama, have you done the show this week? Send me the links, send me the links, let me share it with my friends, let me share it with our family and I really love that and it's really funny because he also gives me advice based on my performances and he's not a musical person so he'd be like, yeah, you know, you should change your voice like this so that you're not sounding like this. And I'm there like, okay, I, I'm listening, I'm listening. Thank you for your advice. And I really appreciate it because it means, it shows me that he's really trying to be part of my, my journey. My mom was a great, a great woman. And I know that she's looking down on me and, and what's happening with us currently and our family. And I, and I hope that she's proud um, she was also, when she was here, she was, she was one of my greatest supporters. I was on Facebook one day and I saw a post, because I was following KTN, and I saw a post, the, the flyer now for the auditions for the second season. So I thought about it and I was like, why not? I mean, it wouldn't, it's not going to hurt to try. So yeah, I went for the auditions. Um, I made it through, I was elated. Uh, went for the second round, made it through. Then we chose the top 20 and I made it through. Then we went for the meeting. Now the producers are telling us, yeah, we need you on this day for the shoot. And then on this day, we're doing what interview? And then on this day, we'll do, and in my mind, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like, this is like ridiculous. I'm, how am I going to manage my current job with what it is that, I'm, what it is that I want to do? Eventually, I'm really appreciative to both, to, you know, to both KTN and Brookhouse for, you know, allowing me to do both. If I was to win, I would use, I guess, my winnings to help me become more knowledgeable. Um, you know, registering myself under a musical board first and foremost, so that when, when it is I'm releasing my stuff, I'm actually getting royalties, you know, from, from what it is that I'm releasing. And, you know, building um, relationships with the people like KTN. Um, so, I mean, you, have, you guys have thousands of shows that you, that you use to, to, to promote um, artists. Uh, for example, you know, Straight Up, 